Welcome back to the second part on getting started with ABAP development. In the last video, we went over the installation process and installing the front end component of ADT. In this video, we'll continue the installation process by running our Docker container and setting up SAP GUI. We will also create an ABAP package that will enable you to structure your development objects. Let's continue. So now that we have installed SAP GUI onto our desktop and the Docker Hub onto our desktop, we will now be able to run the command for the SAP ABAP developer edition. It's also important to make sure that you have enough storage on your computer to be able to do so. So if you're a Mac user, you will need four CPUs of desktop for Docker desktop, 16 gigabytes for Docker desktop, and 170 GB disk for the Docker desktop. Now you can be able to adjust these on your settings, resources, and as you can see, mine is already adjusted to the amount. So once you do this, it will apply, you'll click apply and restart. And this will allow you to be able to run that command. So we will scroll down to this command right here. Copy it. And if you're a Mac user, you will include it onto your terminal. It took me about 20 minutes for it to fully install into my system. So just have to be a little bit patient for that. And we'll come right back to the next step. So now that all the services have been started, you should see it on your images right here. And all you have to do is just click run and it should be running. Also, you'll also see, you will see it on your containers right here. So just make sure that that's running as well. And we're gonna now launch SAP GUI. So now we have to add our connection. Click on this piece of paper right here. Click advanced, expert mode, and we're going to add this connection right here. H slash 127.0.0.1 slash S slash 3200. And then we're going to name this ABAP Platform Developer Edition. Save that. You should see it right here. Connect. And now we're going to log in. So now we're going to enter this username right here, developer, and this password to log in. You are able to also change the username and password once you officially log into the system. Developer, put in this one right here. I'm just gonna copy it, paste it, and then we're gonna log in. I just changed my username and my password. So now I'm gonna log into my name and my password. Enter. And now you should see on here, my name. So we're now into the system. And once we're into the system and we have all of our access, we will now launch Eclipse. So we're now in Eclipse. Before we create an ABAP package, we need to make sure that we create an ABAP project. To do so, you will simply click on the open perspective right here. Click on ABAP. Then once you click on that, you will click on create, new, create an ABAP project. Select ABAP platform, click next, continue right here, click next. Then we'll enter our 
password for our SAP query that we just did. Then you'll press finish. Now the ABBA project has been created. It should be shown right here in your project explorer. This represents a system connection to your chosen SAP system. So this is where majority of our work will be. And once we create an ABBA package, you can add that onto your favorites packages right here. Now that we have created our ABBA project, we will now create an ABBA package. To do so, you will have a hover over your project, your ABAP project, click new, and then go all the way down and you'll see ABAP package. Click on that. And for the name, we will put in ZXX tutorials. The XX will be your initials. So I will just put in MM for me. And then for description, this will be a table tutorial. And then we'll be package type as development. Click next. For our software component, we will click home. And then our application component will be optional, but you can also put in CA for cross application. But or you can leave it blank. Then transport layer would be SAP. And then we will now click on next. You should see the transport request right here, or if you don't, you can simply just enter a request number. Um, but as you can see, we can see our request right here. Then we'll click on finish. As you can see, our package has now been added and this is optional, but you can also include it into your favorites. So all you do is click on favorites over here, hover it, add package, and then we'll just look it up by the name that we had. So mine will be CMM. And then we'll add that onto our favorites. And now the package is added to the list and you're ready to start running an ABAP program. We have now got our ABAP system up and running and created our first ABAP project. In the next video of the series, we'll create and run an ABAP application. See you in the next video.